Greetings. Most of you know me for my custom dungeons, and a lot of people ask how I make them, so I'm going to be doing a four part series on how to make your own boss fight. In this episode, I'm going to give a bit of an introduction and do the building, then we'll move on to adding some items, and finally the programming. Firstly, I need to point out, in order to best follow along with the series, you should have a good idea on how to use world edit and creating data packs. I've linked some videos in the description if you need to catch up on these things. I recommend being on a server during the build, so you can use plugins like world edit. I've linked a video on how to set up one for free in the description. All the floors that I build are on a void world, so go ahead and create one if you haven't already and load it onto your server. Start by coming up with a theme for your boss fight. You don't need to come up with all the features yet, but if you have, this will help you out later on. After this, think of a nice shape to fit your theme. Having flat walls by using rectangles and squares makes the decoration process a lot easier, but if you want to use circles, go ahead. Make sure to make your room interesting. Different sections branching off or small rooms on the edges make the boss fight so much better. Next, decide what height you want your boss fight. Height is absolutely necessary for the boss fight room to be interesting. It will be easier to just use stone for all of your builds and change it later. There's no need to come up with a block palette straight away, so keep it simple for now will be best. Extend your walls up and decide on a roof shape. Decorating the room like this is an absolute nightmare, so we need to break it up a load into chunks, which will make it easier. You should come up with a cool pillar design and place it around in the room, on corners and large flat areas. After you've done this, you can add a basic block palette using world edit. I recommend adding a border between the floor and the walls to remove the sharp change. Connect them between the pillars, preferably you should use a bright block with a similar texture to your walls. The worst thing in a build is using the same block for absolutely everything. So next, we should decorate the sections of the walls between our pillars. You don't need to decorate the entire room for it to look good but I usually like to add some um, walls as bars, crossing over a dark texture that's been pushed back into the wall to give it depth. This is also a good place where you can put lava adding some light to your room. You should definitely add depth to the ceiling and floor as it makes it much easier to decorate. Use some similar techniques for the floor and roof. I'm pretty happy with this room now, so I'm gonna add the final details like a platform for the boss to spawn and an entrance portal. Now that the room is done, you'll start thinking about the next steps in the process. The video will be out soon and we can start making some weapons and armor. I hope this guide has given you some insight into the process and inspires you to make your own projects. I'd absolutely love to see everything you make, and you can send it in my Discord, links are in the description. Other than that, if you enjoyed or learned anything new, I'd really appreciate a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to be all from me now, see ya.